guys, welcome back to another video, man. With the 14th pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Jordan Hawkins, shooting guard from UConn. Yeah, man, he's 6'5". And I didn't know this, but <laughs> it's, not th it's not really something to brag about, but Jordan Hawkins has the same birthday as me. I looked at like his draft profile, which I'm gonna get to in a minute. He has the same birthday as me. This is not his draft profile yet, but then um, but I'm gonna get to it. Alright. First, let's get to his draft notes. Hawkins is one of the better three-point shooters in this draft class, and is the best movement shooter. He's a leader coming off of screens, catching and firing lasers from deep. Trying to guard Hawkins looks like the most exhausting assignment any defender could be given. He's constantly on the move and flies around screens ready to get off his shot in a hurry. He has greatly improved his dribble drive game and is now a real threat going to the hoop. Is an awesome free throw shooter, hitting close to 90% from the line as a sophomore. Playing both ends and is a sol plays both ends and is a solid defender and defensive rebounder. Isn't going to be a star defender at the next level, but can definitely hold his own. That's what I love though. And I'm gonna get to like one more statement and then well so that's what I love though. He's good defensively and good offensively. Now before I continue with like the last two sentences of this passage or whatever, and then we're gonna move on to different things. That's what I love, because I don't, like, I appreciate, but I don't really care for guys. Like, I I wouldn't say that. It's just that I, if the person I want building my team around is a guy like Jordan Hawkins, here's why. Not only can he give you buckets, give you buckets, but he can also... Stop the other team from giving us buckets. Fantastic pick. I'm surprised he went at four. I'm surprised that he fell to 14, to be honest. Like, a lot of NBA teams could have used him. All right. For example, guys like Trey Young, Jokic, Curry, uh, Luka. They can give you buckets, but they can't, like, proceed to the next level. I know you probably can't see him. Well, maybe you can. But there's my dog. Maybe. And then never mind. You can see him. You can see him. He's right there. But yeah, um. But yeah, guys like Luka, Trey, Jokic, Curry. They can give you buckets. But they're not a guy like Marcus Smart who can give you buckets and can stop the other team from giving you buckets. A guy like Jaron Jackson. A guy like uh, John Morant, Zion. Those guys, you know. All right, but now I'm going to finish this last sentence, and then we're going to move on. Has good but not great size. Might struggle to handle bigger guards and swings at the next level. Okay, and I don't know how to share. I don't think I can share my screen, so you're just going to have to deal with this. All right, just take my word for it. All right, now let's move on to the draft profile. He was f Jordan Hawkins from UConn. He finished his sophomore season as shooting guard. 6'5". He has a 6'7'5 wingspan. 186 pounds. Okay. He's 21 years old, so we're, we might have him for a little longer than we would uh, for, like, other people. His birthday, April 29th, 2002. My birthday is April 29th, 2009. <laughs> Damn. Yep. His hometown is Gathersburg. He, let's see, his high school was the Mouth of Catholic High School. And the mock draft had him going 15th to the Hawks. Well, hey, he went 14th to the Pelicans, man. And the big board had him going 13th, which would have been the Raptors. All right. 2022 to 23 per game averages. He played 37 games. I don't know how much. I don't know if there's 82 games in a college basketball season. I don't know how much games there is in the basketball season. So, I don't know what to 
if that meant he was injured or not. Like, for all I know, there could be only 37 games in a college basketball season. Like, because I don't really watch college basketball like that. Like, I know, like, I'm a fan of some teams. Like, if they're doing good, I cheer them on. But, um, you yeah. know, like, I, I like watching professional sports, you know, like the big dogs, man. But, yeah, uh, 37 games, average 29.4 minutes a night. Or a day, I don't know. Let's see. He averaged 4.9 field goals made to 12 field goals attempted. That's not bad. He could increase that, but we'll see. He shot 40% from the field. Let's see. 2.9 three-point made average and a 7.6 three-point attempt average. I like that, honestly. He shot 38% from three. He averaged... You know, I'm not going to say that because that's confusing. All right, let's see. 88% from the free throw line. 3.8 rebounds. 1.3 assists. 0.5 blocks. 0.7 steals. 1.4 turnovers. 2.2 fouls and 16.2 points per game. Okay. Let's see his advanced stats. Okay. 58% true shooting. 53% effective field goal. 63% three-point attempt rate. 31% free throw attempt rate for... Okay. I like these stats. And then these are all the games. So the season starts in November and it ends in April. Okay, I don't know how. So I'm assuming that they play less than 82 games. All right. Let's see the NBA draft net. Like, what do they have on Jordan Hawkins, guys? Because let's see here. Okay, so, all right, so the NBA draft net has, so these are going to be ratings out of 10, and this is what they gave them, and then at the end, they got the overall. Athleticism is an 8, as I'm assuming it's out of 10, but okay, athleticism is an 8, size is a 7, defense is a 7, strength is a 7, Quickness is an 8. Leadership's an 8. Jump shot's a 9. NBA ready's an 8. Ball handling's a 7. Potential's an 8. Passing is a 7. And tangibles is an 8. And his overall is a 92. Oh man, this kid is going to be something special, I tell you. But I'm not done yet. Let's look at Sports Illustrated. Let's see what Sports Illustrated got to say. All right, a six foot five guard, Hawkins, had the chance to be a breakout sophomore this season and took full advantage of the opportunity, leading his team to a dominant NCAA tournament run and ultimately, and ultimately a championship. In an increased role, he tripled his scoring output, nearly doubled his assist production, and became one of the most notable three-point shooters in the country. This was especially true in the biggest moments as he proved to be more than just a catch-and-shoot guy, showcasing the ability to hit advanced perimeter shots on the move. He showed flashes of greatness as a, as a freshman, but was somewhat inconsistent due to injuries. All right, so he did have some injuries, all right? He was a highly rated recruit for UConn and has now fully exceeded expectations at the college level. A versatile combo guard, Hawkins is a really good athlete. He's got ideal NBA size and plays smart on both ends. It will be interesting to see if he ends up being more of a point guard or off-ball guard at the next level. He's got upside at both positions, so it may depend on the person now Hawkins is on the floor with. When he gets to the rim, the rising guard has a ton of pop and gets to the rim quickly. He can throw it down or finish with a ton of skill. Hawkins does favor his right hand, but has improved finishing with his left. On the defensive end, Hawkins really has tremendous upside. He's incredible at the point of attack and has great footwork. He's able to leverage his combination of length and lateral quickness to guard up to three positions. Hawkins is disciplined and works well with a, within a scheme. Overall, 
Hawkins should be really should be a really solid two way guard at the NBA level. The defensive upside is certainly real, which he showed during many points throughout this throughout the season. As a senior at Damatha Catholic, Hawkins led the team to undefeated record while winning 2020 to 21 Gatorade Maryland Player of the Year. One of the most improved college players year over year, Hawkins is now a solidified first round pick. Draft projection, I mean, we already know where he went in the draft, but let's see what they had him. Want to know more about other, oh, no, never mind, that's basically nothing. All right, so we just took a look at Sports Illustrated and what they had to say, and I'm liking, I'm liking everything I'm seeing. Like, his defense is there. I think he's probably going to come off the bench his rookie season. But, hey, that's fine. Dyson Daniels came off the bench, and he's not half bad. He's not. So, I'm excited to see what this man can do. This kid, this man. Jordan Hawkins is going to be amazing. Alright. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to wrap that up here. I think we basically went over everything that we needed to. There's not a lot of other things that we can really say about this kid, man. We just got to see come October how he's going to play, man. <sighs> Keegan Murray, I just have one message to you, okay? You may have broke the NBA rookie three-point record, but if Jordan Hawkins... Stays healthy and gets lots of opportunities. He's coming for that record. So be prepared. Enjoy your record while it lasts. Because we're coming. It's more than a game. New Orleans Pelicans are coming. Jordan Hawkins will be one of the best rookies the Pelicans have ever seen. Anthony Davis had a good had a good few few years here. Few years here. Zion still work in progress, but he's been pretty good here. Ingram, even though he didn't start his career out here, played pretty well. Herbert Jones had an amazing rookie season. We'll see.